What is up, second grade? Welcome to day five. Now, I know a lot of these um, weeks, like the past weeks when we've done ants and lemons to lemonade and self-esteem this week and oh, I'm missing one. We've been thinking a lot about other people's situations, right? And I want us, I want you to start thinking about changing phrases. You ever have like siblings at home or your friends at recess or at school and you say, you know what? You always, you always get to pick what we do. Can't like you always get to do that, or you're always bothering me, or you're pushing me and I don't like it. You're doing this, you're doing that. All this you, 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 right? Um, another way to have people listen and instead of just starting arguments, you know, a lot of times when you're poking at people and you say, you're doing this, you're doing that, it makes them angry and defensive and they feel like they need to argue with you when you're just trying to say your feelings. It happens a lot. I catch myself doing that sometimes. And I think it's important to try using this phrase. I feel when you, I usually say I want, but you could say because, because then it makes it a little nicer. So like, I feel unheard when you keep talking over me. Could you please listen to what I have to say too, right? And then when you say it that way, you're telling them how you feel first. And they're like, whoa, I didn't realize I made you feel that way. And it's not an argument anymore. It's more of like, I didn't realize I was doing that. I'm so sorry. And then you're not arguing and everyone's happier, right? If you say it in a nicer way, people are more willing to listen. If you're saying, you're doing this and you're doing that, or you keep pushing me, you keep doing this. It sounds like an argument that you want to argue. And then the person's reaction to a comment like that is to just start arguing. So I want you to think of ways that you can talk to others when you feel unheard or hurt, ways to get people's attention. And this is a good way of doing it, okay? Changing a you message to an I message, okay? It'll make you more heard when you do it, okay? So let's practice some of them. I'm going to do a few of them and then there's a few more that I want you to try, okay? And I can add these again another time as well to get more practice with them because I think they're important. I think it's an important thing for you to start saying instead of saying, you keep doing this, you keep doing that, you keep doing this, right? So we're gonna try, I feel when you because, or you could do what Miss Wolf says, I feel when you, I want, okay? All right, so change it. So we have a you message here, it says, you are talking too fast. How could we change it to an I? I feel, right? Or I'm having a hard time understanding when you talk so fast. Could you please slow down? I didn't have enough words to fill that whole sentence of what I'm saying in there. So I decided to shorten it up a little bit, but I'm having a hard time understanding you when you talk so fast. Could you please slow down, right? They'd be like, oh, I didn't realize, oh, I'm sorry. I had a lot of coffee today. I'm talking fast, I know. Sorry, I'll slow it down, right? And then it won't be an argument, right? Like, I'm talking too fast, what? What does that even mean? And then it turns into this argument, right? We don't want that. So another you message, it says, you shouldn't leave Maria out of your party. That sounds like we're starting an argument, right? Like, you shouldn't do that. Like, that's not nice, you're not a nice person. It's like, whoa, here comes an argument. So let's change it. You want Maria invited or included? This is how you might wanna say it. I feel bad that Maria is left out. Can we invite her too? And then the person's thinking about what you said because they're like, oh yeah, you feel bad that so-and-so is left out. Oh, maybe I should include them, right? Did I invite everyone else in the class and I just forgot to write her invitation, right? And then it turns into a conversation, not an argument, right? And then you, then you are actually heard, right? If someone's not feeling attacked, they're more willing to talk with you about it and understand how you're feeling too. Okay, now it says, you're too pushy. You make me not want to do it at all. 
Okay, I feel mm, when you, mm, right? I feel like I'm being pushed into something I don't wanna do. Please respect my choice, right? So I feel like I'm being pushed into something that I don't wanna do. Can you please respect my choice if I don't wanna do something? You know how sometimes people keep making you wanna do something you don't wanna do? Okay, the next one says, you were always on my case, just leave me alone. On my case means people are telling you to do something, tell, they keep telling you, reminding you, oh, you gotta, oh, you gotta do your laundry. Oh, you gotta put your clothes in the hamper. Oh, you gotta clean up after yourself. You can't leave a mess on the floor. You have to, you can't watch TV until you do this. You can't watch this. And then you're like, oh my gosh, you're on my case right now. Leave me alone, right? Ever, I've said that before. So what you should say to not get yourself in trouble or to not make it an argument, say how you feel. Like, I feel annoyed, I feel upset that you keep telling me to do something. Can I please be left alone for a while? That doesn't sound like you're arguing. It just sounds like you're letting the person know how you feel and that you need some space. Like, can you please let me calm down, right? Now it says this on the bottom, you always get your way. I feel like my ideas don't ever get picked. Could we maybe do something else or can maybe do one of mine, right? Using the I feel, telling someone how you feel first before jumping into something that you're upset about totally is a game changer, okay? Way to practice it. Maybe recognize something like that when you're at your own house, right? Start using those I feel. Whoa, my eyeballs stick to the lid. It was like, huh? it was weird. Anyways, so that's what I want you to do. I want you to do, you can copy these ones down to help you, okay? Then I want you to do these. You ruined the project. You don't even care. You are so mean. I want you to think of those I messages. I feel when you, because, okay? You say one thing and then do another. And there's five more. So you have 10, essentially, if you use mine, that I want you to think about. Also, go back to this. Whoopsies, not that. <laughs> Miss Wolf. The poster to remind you what I want you to start responding with, okay? I want you to say, I want to see the words, I feel, when you, I want, or because, okay? Game changer, right? I thought this was a good one so you can start practicing things you can actually say instead of just looking at everyone's situation and thinking of the right thing to do. I want you to start thinking of things you can actually say today that could help you a lot, okay? All right, you guys. Enjoy the wonderful weekend. It's supposed to be sunny. And you know what? My lemon, my thing that I'm I'm feeling sad about. I was supposed to have my wedding this weekend. But I had to cancel it. Well, not cancel. I had to move it to November. So now I'm not getting married till after Thanksgiving. Which is sad, but also kind of cool because Thanksgiving's one of my favorite holidays, remember? So it's kind of like second holiday we all get to get together with family and people for my wedding and all the people i care about and i'm thankful for so it'll be like really cool but a little sad this week because i was supposed to have my wedding but i had to move it later to november and i hope i don't have to move it again oh it's making me sad thinking about it but anyways i hope you have a really nice weekend I know my brother Ben wants to come and drop off some wedding gifts this weekend, so I'm pretty excited for that too. All right, you guys. I love you. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope it's sunny and you can go outside for a little bit, okay? I love you. Have fun. Be kind. Be kind, right? Peace.